Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of The Family Couch. Lola and I are so excited that you get to be here with us as we go over the lesson for today's Sabbath School video. <laughs> we are going to start with prayer, as always, and then jump right into it, where we're learning about the book of Ecclesiastes and King Solomon. <laughs> okay, let's pray. Fold your hands, close your eyes. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for letting us be able to learn about you and read about you and try to understand you. And we most importantly, thank you for being in our lives and leading us to where you want us to go. In your name, amen. Okay, so this whole month, we've been talking about the book of Ecclesiastes, right? We've also been studying a little bit about King Solomon. King Solomon was an amazing king. He had wisdom, he had power, he had money, he had friends, he had everything that someone could possibly have. And yet we learn in the book of Ecclesiastes that later in his life, he was unhappy. He didn't have happiness in his heart because he began to stray away from God. And he started trying to find his happiness in things other than God in his heart. And so we refer to King Solomon as something of a contradiction. That's where it's like something should be one way, but it's actually the very exact opposite of it. A great example of this is the contradiction of contentment versus greed. Because when we're greedy, we want, we just want and we want and we want. We want the toys, we want the candy, we want this, we want that. And we're never actually happy. We just keep wanting. Whereas contentment is where we are happy right where we are in life. We're happy with the toys that we have, with the people that we have, and that brings great contentment and joy into our hearts because we're never wanting, 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 wanting. <laughs> now, in the Bible, another great example of this is the story of Nicodemus. Nicodemus was a great ruler, like, well, great ruler, he was a ruler. And he was a Pharisee and he had money and he had power and he had everything that somebody could want. And yet, after witnessing Jesus perform miracles, he sought Jesus out because he felt like something was missing in his life. He, Nicodemus sought out Jesus to figure out how to be better and how to follow him and how to have contentment within his heart. <laughs> and that... I, I feel like we all should be doing that. We should all be seeking out Jesus because it doesn't matter how many toys we have, how much power we have, how smart we are. If we don't have Jesus right here in our heart, we have nothing. Oh, that's kind of a heavy thought, huh? Do you have Jesus in your heart? Yes, you do. You got Jesus. He's right here, huh? He loves you so much. We can always learn more about Jesus and ask him to be more into our hearts. <laughs> so now we're going to skedaddle, 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 that's a funny word, on over to Micah's special room where we're going to be playing a really fun game today where we can learn about what it means to have fulfillment versus what it means to have greed. <laughs> okay, we'll see you back here in just a little bit. You ready? Hi, 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 Welcome to Micah's special playroom that he so graciously let us use for today. Now, today we're playing a really fun game that, in, that has candy. These are some of my favorite candies. My favorite too. Your favorite too? And I have a nice big pile here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna close my eyes, really tight. I'm not going to peek, I promise. And Micah, he's going to decide how much candy he wants and how much candy I get. Okay? Are you ready, Micah? Don't tip over. Okay. My eyes are closed really tight. Pick and choose. Okay, are you ready? Yes. Yeah? Okay. I get one? Yes. Yeah, but you told me I but, but is that size. one. Uh, you, oh. But is that fair to give me one and for you to take all the rest of it? Okay. No? Okay, so how about if I do it now? It's my turn to pick and choose. Okay? So, now close your eyes nice and tight.
Okay, open them up. Here's your pile, and here's my pile. Does that seem more fair? <laughs> oh, does this seem like a more fair pile? Yes. Yes, because, you know, when we care about something, we need to not be greedy, and we need to share. Solomon, he was very greedy, and that caused problems with his relationship with Christ. But if we're not greedy, and we share, we can have so much in our lives, huh? Mm -hmm. Do you like to share with your friends? Yes. You know who I know you like to share with? Who? Your sister. Oh, yeah. She's kind of awesome. You bring her home treats all the time to share, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, sharing is awesome. So let's head on over to our craft corner where we get to learn more. <laughs> Hi, welcome back to the crafting corner. Are you ready to start crafting? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, let's put our special crafting crowns on. Put them right here on our head. Oh, yours is upside down. Can I help you fix it? Yeah. Okay, here you go. Right here. Just like. There you go. Now you're a crafting princess. Okay. Um, you don't so, say that. <laughs> this week, we're learning all about having peace in our heart through Christ. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna paint a really cool picture. What you're gonna need is a canvas of some sort and some tape. What you're gonna start by is just cutting off little strips of your tape and placing them on your canvas. So it's gonna be a little bit tricky. So you gotta be really careful when you do it, okay? Because what you're going to do is you're going to tape off all of the areas in order to make the shape of a cross. Huh. Like the cross of Jesus. Uh, uh, should it be like this? Yeah. So, just like this. But it's all right here. Oh, that part we're going to leave blank because we're going to paint in that part. But it'll look really cool, I promise. So. Uh, so I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you the top part just like this, and then I'm gonna continue on the bottom part. Just like this. Um, I want to be green. Okay. I like the color green. We'll do that in just one moment. Okay. Let me finish taping it. Just, oh, I went. Okay. Okay. One more side. And then, as soon as we get this area all taped off, we're gonna do one more area with tape in the shape of a heart. Well, it's too easy for me. It's too easy for you? Okay. I may go for it on that one There you go. You're gonna get to do all the painting in just one second here, Anna. Okay. Now, for the shape of the heart, you're gonna need to take little strips of your tape and kind of sort of make just a, a heart shape. Okay, let's see if I can do that here, here. Okay, so we almost have a heart shape there, huh? There you go. So my heart shape is a little bit funky. Ugh. There, there we go. Got tape all over my hands. So this is what it's gonna look like when you're done with it, right? When you're done taping. And then what you're gonna do, you wanna just do green or do you wanna do all the colors? Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take it and you're gonna drip, 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 drip. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. 
You just do that with all the colors. And this part is very important that you have a grown up help you with, okay? Me? So, am I a grown up? Yeah. Yeah? Now, it's your turn to take your brush and just brush it everywhere like this. Go like this. Teddy! Oh, here you go. You do it now. <laughs> just make big, big Teddy. brushes. I know, Anna. I know. You're going to do great. Only for Mommy. Oh, okay. Stop. She's making a special picture for Mommy. And that will be very, very nice. Now, once you're done painting, you're going to have a really pretty picture that's going to have the shape of a heart in the middle of a cross. Isn't that going to be so cool? That's such a good picture. And if you want to do even one step better, after you take the blue tape off, what you can do is take the blue tape and put it over where you painted and then paint the other part like one solid color. Or you could paint the solid color and then tape whatever you want to do. Have some fun with it. Make sure to show me what you've done. I'm so excited to see how Anna's is going to lo look and how all of yours is going to look. Uh -uh. Okay, so why don't, while Anna's finishing up her picture, you guys can join me over on the couch to say our goodbyes. <laughs> Welcome back to the couch. I hope you guys had a lot of fun playing games with Micah and painting a cross with Anna. We love doing stuff with Anna and Micah. They are so special to us. And I hope that you guys are able to figure out what it means to have fulfillment in Christ and contentment in our hearts that makes it so that we are happy no matter what. Because happiness is great. I love being happy. I hope all of you guys are happy all the time. Happy, happy, happy. <laughs> okay, let's close with prayer. And then don't forget to stick around and go over the family discussion questions for this week. So, Dear Heavenly Father, please help us to find happiness in you. Help us to find the contentment where we are. And please be with us as we learn more about you and draw closer to you. In your name, amen. Okay, we'll see you next week. Bye. Wait, bye.